a deep-pocketed California group that dislikes the electoral college system has spent nearly $100,000 this year going after its nemesis, Oregon Senate President Peter Courtney. Since 2007, Courtney has single-handedly has killed every attempt to add Oregon to the list of states that have agreed to circumvent the electoral college system by pledging their delegates to the winner of the national popular vote. So the nonprofit political group National Popular Vote is creating anti-Courtney ads and spreading them in the senator's district, which spans Salem and Woodburn. The ads, produced in English and Spanish, have been distributed via direct mail, billboards, cable television, and the internet, campaign finance records show. The ads paint Courtney, 74, as out of touch not only on the national popular vote issue but also on tenant protections and environmental policy. They fault him for taking campaign contributions from tobacco companies. Courtney was not available to answer questions for this story, a campaign spokeswoman said. In a statement she provided, Courtney said Oregon voters should decide whether to subvert the Electoral College. Courtney's statement also said he would support such a proposal if it passes out of committee next year. Earlier this month, National Popular Vote upped the ante in its drive against Courtney by paying a consultant to recruit candidates to compete against him in the May primary. Chris Pearson a Vermont state senator paid $6,400 to conduct candidate recruitment, did not return calls seeking comment. So far, the group hasn't found a candidate, said John Koza, architect of the National Popular Vote Movement and the nonprofit's primary financier. But he vows they will. We've never had a situation quite like this in any other state where one person has so consistently blocked something in spite of substantial support said Koza, a pioneer in the field of genetics-based computer programming who found financial success as inventor of the lottery scratch-it card. The, national popular vote, bill is clearly never going to pass as long as Courtney is in charge of the Senate, he said. As Senate president, Courtney has near-total control of what happens in the chamber. He can unilaterally block legislation he dislikes from a Senate vote. Koza said his organization has never had a political battle the likes of its tussle with Courtney. His group has succeeded in getting 10 states, including Washington, California, and Hawaii, and the District of Columbia to pass laws making the national popular vote binding there once the group grows to 270 electoral votes. The effort stands at 165 electoral votes so far. Lobbyists hired by National Popular Vote have pushed Oregon lawmakers to pass their bill year after year, Koza said, but Courtney has killed the attempts every time. The last came earlier this year, after the Oregon House passed the legislation for the fourth time, but Courtney refused to allow a Senate vote. Courtney said for the first time this year that he would allow a vote on such a bill, but only if it put the National Popular Vote question to Oregon voters rather than enact the concept outright. Courtney is the legislature's longest-serving member, having been first elected in 1981.